Hello. 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 My gosh. What the heck is happening? Hello, I'm, uh, you know, Mouth. This is a Mouth Plays XCOM 2 War of the Chosen modded edition. But before I get into that and what mods we're using, I kind of gotta, we gotta, you, you gotta, we gotta, we gotta talk about it. If you, if you're new here, if you've never seen one of my videos, you've never been to my channel, my video, what, what do you get to, what, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Well, for those that have been here for a while, you probably know what I'm talking about. I haven't been on YouTube in over a year. And even that year ago, I was kind of off again, on again. Very Ross and Rachel and friends kind of thing. And uh, so this is kind of my, this is, this is, this is my return to YouTube. And uh, hopefully it's, it's more of a, a sustained um frequent presence so i'm not gonna go on about it too much but uh you know i do i did i did record a a video solely dedicated just to being like hey this is what's kind of gone on for me lately for the past while if you want to check that out you can check the the link in the description and, and watch that for a, a little bit more details but really the the tldr is um last april april of 2019 i had left my job that i'd been at for over a decade and i went kind of full-time doing my own thing and and primarily up until now that's been uh focused on twitch if you've never been to my twitch channel i stream every day except for Sundays, but like kind of like every other Sunday. <laughs> um, Twitch.tv slash Michael A.L. Fox. Uh, same username or, you know, as here. Um, so I've been doing that uh, since I, I, I kind of went full time. And the plan was always, though, to kind of come back and do some YouTube stuff. But I wanted to to mostly focus on, on Twitch. Uh, and I get more into that in the kind of the dedicated video again link in the description but now that I've been doing that for for several months uh you know coming up on a year in April I was I was thinking you know I feel kind of ready and the the itch to get back into doing some stuff for YouTube it, it, it's it's been there I've been wanting to do it I I've been planning to do it ever since I went full time anyway so so again, things are a bit more settled now, and I, I just kind of got to the point where I was like, you know what, I I have very little currently that's kind of preventing me from from getting to it. So we're here. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna ramble about that uh, too much more. If you want to check out that other video explaining it in a little bit more detail, more power to you. Go go to it. Um, if not, let's get into the game. So like I said, this is going to be a modded playthrough. I've never done modded XCOM before outside of a couple of, of voice packs. But that's, you know, cosmetic in nature, really superficial. It doesn't affect the gameplay. So this time around, I am playing with actual uh, gameplay altering mods. Uh, the thing is, I installed these mods back in October of last year. So I'd actually been planning to do this series for quite a while, um, even before October, but that was kind of when I, I started actually thinking about doing it, and then I, I kind of put it off uh, towards the end of the year. Uh, I wanted to wait until, you know, holidays and New Year and all that stuff were over with, and I, you know, all that calamity and, and whatnot. So, so now that that's kind of out of the way, things are calm in general, um, I'm here, but I've forgotten some of the mods, <laughs> at least off of the top of my head, but I do have a link in the description as well to a collection of the mods on Steam, so if you really want, you can go and look and see what we're, we're working with. Uh, a bunch of those mods were suggested or recommended to me uh, previously by other people who are more familiar, so if you see something there you think I should have that I don't, 
drop uh you know drop a comment in the in the comments section and sure I'll, I'll peep it and if i could add it to this playthrough i may do that uh, although i know some mods in nature you kind of need to have a a fresh save file uh to add them uh, other ones you can add them whenever so anyways i won't get too much into that uh but some of the mods i do recall you know it, you, you've got the rpg overhaul which is a pretty highly recommended mod a lot of people told me to to add that uh, which kind of gives you more variance in how you level and and create your your soldiers, your characters in XCOM. Uh, there's a few other kind of less substantial, but still potentially substantial mods. Like you can use your secondary weapon as a primary weapon. Uh, you can even dual wield pistols uh, with the one mod. Dual wield melee weapons as well. Um, it's kind of like a stealth overhaul and a better advent so it's supposed to make them kind of well better but smarter and potentially harder i think um and there's a few more i'm forgetting again you can check the link uh to see all of the ones that i'm uh that i'm using at this moment uh of this recording and i'll update it if we end up adding any more through the playthrough but um yeah so that's kind of a new experience for me and I, in advance, I, I appreciate any patience you have. You know, I'm familiar with XCOM, but the mods, uh, I don't know how substantial it's going to change things. Maybe it's not going to be that substantial, but I have also kept the list of mods kind of narrow for that purpose of I don't want to overwhelm myself too much. I just want to dip my toe in the water, get a feel, you know, what's the temperature? Is it nice? Do I want to go all in? The answer is probably yes, but to start, we're going to go slow. Uh, I'm keeping it on veteran again, just because I don't want to, I don't want to die over and over and all that kind of stuff. I probably could handle um, commander without much issue. I don't know about legend. Um, certainly not going to be doing Iron Man though. And Accessing the feed now. yeah. Yeah. We're going to skip this lore and stuff too. You, you've probably seen it before if you haven't. The advent are the bad guys, the aliens. They've taken over Earth. And we got to, with the resistance, we got to fight back. Got to take it back, man. Friggin' aliens? No. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Um, <laughs> I made one character. Uh, when I was testing out the mods a while back, and his name is Ryan Gary. Letourneau, um, that beautiful, beautiful Eggman. And that's a nice surprise. <laughs> so he's also gonna have, um, let's get him here, oops. He is gonna have the Ryan Letourneau Northern Lion voice pack. Uh, which you could also have. And there are a bunch of other NLSS voice packs as well. So um, it's going to be exciting in this playthrough. I'm going to take my time. Probably like each episode will we'll customize one additional person until eventually we kind of have the, the full NLSS crew. And then we'll probably make some other crazy zany individuals and all that, that sort of stuff. But... Uh, you know, we got the Eggman here, and, uh, he looks, uh, he's looking good. Looking good. Um, also, there's me. I am in the game now. There's a mouth voice pack, which is kind of, I think it's the most recent one as of a month ago, maybe a couple months ago. I haven't even heard it. So, maybe at the end of the video, or at the end of this mission, we can take a peek maybe have a little listen but for now i'm gonna get focused on actually doing the mission because i'm probably gonna get myself hit if i don't focus a little bit so we're gonna dial in here um high ground is nice but low ground is also nice I'm just going to slowly work my way up. I'll try to give you a, a tactical view. 
He's gonna he's gonna try to give us a tactical view. I'm telling you, the voice packs alone, if you were not to install any gameplay changing mods, just the voice packs make um a playthrough so good and so funny. Just just you wait. Wait until we have Dan Geasley. I'm telling you. I need a sip of my water here. Um, Mickey Scott. I do kind of want to have a guy higher up. This might be a little risky. You usually don't... If you're not familiar with XCOM... So the way you move. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt right. with. Yeah, yeah. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. The way you move in this game is you see this blue area, the blue line? If I were to move this character within it, then I get another action. So I could maybe take a shot if I see an enemy. I could enter Overwatch. I could throw a grenade. I could defend I could do, you know. A number of actions and that'll depending on your character and your abilities and all that other stuff there are more actions and things to do potentially um if i were instead of going into this blue if i just went straight to the yellow that kind of consider it this way if i stay in the blue i'm using one action point to move to the distance of the yellow you're you're kind of using two action points if you will um, which means then afterwards you don't have any action points to do a hunker down or a, an overwatch or toss a grenade or shoot. You, you get the idea. It's pretty simple. So usually, uh, you want to kind of go blue first because you might see an enemy pop up all of a sudden. And then that way you still have a chance to react or, or do something. If you just go yellow, it's like, all right, that's, that's it. Then the enemy gets to go and you don't know what they're going to. What they're gonna do so um kind of pushing up to the yellow right away can be it can backfire that said i don't know if i really want that guy there i actually i'm gonna move i'm gonna move people down do. to the ground this is an easier mission too it's not like a tutorial mission but it's kind of an intro mission it's pretty easy um Got it. That said, I don't know what the a better advent mod is really like. It's supposed to change the behavior of the advent. I think it makes them smarter or more difficult or I'm not entirely sure. So, I'm going to err on the side of caution. Try not to be too aggressive even though we are playing on veteran the nature of the game, you know, it's RNG. I've had point blank shots, 95% chance to hit, and I've I've whiffed, you know. It, it's just the nature of the game. So uh, if you're not careful, it can it can make you feel bad about yourself. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna push you there. I guess I could technically go back up there, but. That's only half cover up there too, so position confirmed. I keep you there. Um I wouldn't mind pushing up here, but there's gonna be another pod. I, there's always two pods on this mission. There's, so these three guys over here, and then there's probably guys like behind this uh, monument that we have to blow up, I think is, is typical. So I don't want to push up too much. I'd rather deal with one pot at a time. Uh, I would like to get out of this mission with a flawless. I'm, on the move. I'm actually going to hunker down here. In position. And then you... Oof. I mean, you know what? You go over here. I am going to go a little bit wide with you, I think. Oh, you know what? 
you could actually have, you could go up here, because this little tower is obviously, we can't really hack it right now, because I don't have, um, you know, anybody with that ability, but you could almost go over, and then, probably would have been better to go on that side, to be honest with you, but, let me see, if I could get a grenade on these guys, It's hard to tell if it's getting this one guy. Because of the fog of war. And you want to get all three. Now, if I move this guy up here, I'm fairly confident. Moving to designated coordinates. And he's still not revealed. Should give a much better idea. That's for sure getting all three. Yeah, okay. So. Um, now that that guy's there, we can move somebody up here and just put everybody kind of on. Overwatch. We'll put Ryan there. Do my best. I'm honestly going to leave you in the same position, even though it's pretty far back and you're not going to have great odds of hitting anybody. On Overwatch. Closing on target position now. We've we've not the revealed the second pod. So we'll take these guys out first, and we're going to break concealment. But that's okay, because we're doing it on our terms. That's three kills with one grenade. One grenade, three kills. O-G-T-K. So from here on out, you could just say, oh, I thought they'd be right behind the monument. They were right there. Okay. Now, Ryan is in a bit of a position. But, okay. Unfortunately, one grenade is not going to be able to hit. Oh, okay. That kills this guy and it hurts this guy. Do not use your whole hand to handle the hand <laughs> That's good. Okay. We might be able to get them all. Who? 46. I mean, honestly, you're not. I could overwatch him, but I'm, I'm going to take the shot because it, even if he misses, I think the other two should be able to take everybody else out. It's pretty low odds, but you know what? I got it, right? I, you thread the needle. You don't tell me the odds. And then this guy, he's not on overwatch, so I can just pretty much take Claudia. We can be a little ballsy here. And just get the guaranteed kill. Grenade. Three to four damage. He's got three HP. Baby, you love to see it. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. We didn't even have to use him. So I'm gonna push you. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Up. I mean, just whatever. All right, I'll go. All right, I'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. And there you go. Charges. Quick and easy. You know, you gotta shake the rest off a little bit, but it is nice to get the flawless.
I kind of expect it, but at the same time, you never know. Sometimes the game can punish you. Yeah, we'll take a mission photo. <laughs> I like the standard mission photos a lot. You know, I'll probably get into more custom stuff as we uh, build the, the cast. We start customizing and, and getting the rest of the crew, but... I mean, this is, a, this is a nice one. Ryan's very excited. Like I said, Ryan's look will probably evolve. Um, but this is a really good start. He's been working out. I want I want people to know he's, you know, you could grate cheese on those abs. And I have. <laughs> Take it. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna get the rest of the crew and the voice packs and all that. I'll show you. I'll show you some of them in a second here. Let's let it load up. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Delicious. All right. All right. Um. Yeah. We're taking Advent apart one mission at a time, Commander. Look at those promotions. Impressive work. And you know, as we, by the way, like go through this series, and I do other stuff on YouTube, I'm gonna ease into the other conversations, stuff about whatever non-game related commentary. But give me some time. Give me some time, you know, it's going to be a little bit game focused uh, here and there. It just, it feels really, 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 really weird sitting here talking purely to myself. I'm so used to the live streaming environment from the past few months and just, yeah. I mean, it's weird in a good way. I miss this. Um, uh, yeah. So anyways... But for now, uh, oh yeah, so this is, I think this is part of the RPG overhaul mod. Uh, I'm going to try and explain it to the best of my knowledge. Of course, if I screw anything up or I'm forgetting anything, you know, feel free to leave some comments. Um, <clears throat> so th the, the overhaul kind of does away with the, the very linear and more restrictive classes of you know like the sniper and the the grenadier and the specialist and the ranger and am i forgetting anybody uh so what you're looking at here is well first the squatty our promotion this is our first promotion right these two you get two skills i know that and these are kind of randomized so they won't be the same from one uh you know one soldier to the next but then from corporal onward each of these columns these skills i believe are going to be the same and you have the option of i mean really kind of determining what sort of soldier you want to be and the thing too is uh you don't have to like for corporal it's not like you just pick one right um you don't have to pick any i don't think but you can't you can't unlock one of these skills until you reach the promotion of corporal and then sergeant you can you know it, it, i think that is pretty obvious but anyways you could uh you know buy multiples or all of these but each one as you see has uh, an ap cost ability points so you've got 25 25 30 and 30. these first two are freebies um you know uh just to get you going uh, so as we go, we can kind of be like, oh, what kind of soldier do we want to be? And you look at the different abilities, what they do, uh, and, and you can kind of develop the, the soldier. And maybe you want to have more of a, a run and gun kind of guy. Maybe you want to focus more on some of the abilities that um, have to do with uh, aiming and sniping and, and that. Or maybe more concealment and stealth. And it can be combinations of all this stuff too, right? And the neat thing is, in the top right, by the way, uh, you have the XCOM AP and Soldier AP. So your Soldier AP is kind of like, that's specific to that Soldier. 
So as this guy gets kills and promotions and things in the missions, his soldier AP, you know, he'll be given uh, points and stuff like that. XCOM AP is like a pool for all the soldiers to draw from if you choose. So let's say our soldier AP is 24 AP. And you're like, oh, I really want this close and personal, but uh, it's, it's 25 AP. I only have 24. I can't get it. Well, you could draw that one extra AP from the XCOM AP pool. And then that way you don't have to wait like another mission or two missions or whatever it's going to take to get that uh, extra AP. Uh, and the neat thing is all the soldiers and stuff are going to feed into this XCOM AP. So if you really wanted, you could actually take... Also, I don't know. There's like a weird line here. Don't know. Don't know what's going on there. That is in the game. Um, anyways... I, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, if you wanted, you can kind of let your XCOM AP pool gather up and then use those points on a single or maybe like a select few of your soldiers to kind of make them really, uh, I don't want to say like over leveled or something, but in comparison to some of your other soldiers, you can kind of focus and, and get one guy to be more tanky and, and have more abilities and, and all that stuff if you wanted, or you can kind of spread the love it's up to you so i think i like that system it's kind of cool um so yeah anyways we'll look at all of these other abilities as we go uh through the playthrough but this guy has xenophobe hates aliens deals plus one cv plus one mg uh, plus three bm damage against aliens and i'm trying to think I'm not entirely sure what CV MGBM are. Maybe I do know and I'm just forgetting, or maybe it's just something I probably do. I don't know, but I think it's it has some. It's from a mod, maybe. Um, yeah. Anyways, either way, this guy hates aliens, so he does more damage against aliens, whatever that type of damage is. Uh, and then Prodigy, what do we have here? The soldier's combat intelligence is one or two levels higher than rolled. Than rolled. Is one or two levels... Is it one or two? Make up your mind. Um, anyway, so these are, these are kind of like cool little things. Um, so if we go to the next... Next guy, Rai guy here, what does he have? Uh, survivor. So you can see all these other skills, by the way. They're all the same and same position and stuff. So this, these are not going to change from one to the next, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, survivor. There's an empty look in the soldier's eyes. Um, those are actually egg yolks. Uh, one critically wounded, under 25% HP, gains a massive... Plus 25% damage bonus to all attacks. When fighting to defend something, gains a massive damage bonus to all attacks. So that's kind of one of those situations is like, I don't want to say you want him to get hit, but if he gets hit, it's like, ah, you know, he's all like, Arr! it's all that crea creatine he's consuming. Creatine? Cre creatine? Creatine? Creatine. Creatine. Cre that yeah, roid rage. So you know, it, you know, if he's on death's door, so to speak, he's uh, he's gonna do some more damage. Eagle eye, gain plus ten aim on non-reaction fire shots. Okay, I'll take a plus ten aim. Carry on. So it'll uh, we'll see what kind of soldier we end up making uh, Ryan. You know, again we have a lot of options with those other uh, abilities as we go. Uh, gutter snipe, a former resident of the slums outside Advent Control, gain plus three mobility bonuses in slum and tunnel locales, as well as supply raid missions. Gains plus ten critical hit chance. And plus one, two, three, shred based on weapon tech on flank attacks. 
Um, okay. So it looks like this guy, that you know, this gutter snipe is kind of a, uh, a bit of a, uh, a run and gun sort of tactic, you know? You get extra mobility depending on if it's, yeah, tunnel, slum locales, and and uh, plus 10 critical hit chance on flank. So yeah, that we might want to turn uh, whoever this, you know, we're going to customize these characters into NLSS peeps. But uh, whoever this ends up being, we might want to go kind of more of a sort of a ranger-ish style. Run and gun kind of getting up and, and flanking and hitting them from the side. I don't know. And then you got Hitman. Soldier gets plus 10 crit chance against flank targets. So there you go. Both of these are like plus 20. Plus 20 crit chance um, on flanked. And then with this one, you also get plus one, two, or three shred chance based on the weapon. So, yeah, okay, okay. <clears throat> and last but not least, we have another gutter snipe, uh, but deep cover. If you did not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. And hunkering down is nice because it gives you added uh, defense bonus and all that, which is good. Um... So you know, it's it's I, I kind of like how they do that. The first the first one is is two randomized uh, sort of skills, and then you can take it from there. I need to plug in my mouse. The battery is dying. There we go. Uh, so we got a couple corpses. That's nothing new. Um, research. Let's get this out of the way. It should be, for now, yeah, I think there's gonna be more research and uh, things to build in engineering too with the, the mods, they kind of expand, add new new items, weapons and tech and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's not evident here right now, but I'm sure as we play, we're gonna reveal a lot of that stuff. So I'm kind of excited because I've never experienced, uh, uh, you know, any of the mods that we have installed so for now what i will do is honestly just i'm gonna do modular weapons I do find that area of <clears throat> and then engineering for items to build flashbang med kit grenade we don't have any weapons or armor yet um which will depend on on research primarily not gonna worry about that just yet but what I do want to do is when the power core is under load without the engines engaged. I'm going to build guerrilla tactics. But now I'm starting to think it's all just part of the alien's grand design. Stop talking, Shen. Uh we don't have an engineer, so we can still do this. It's going to take 14 days, which is quite a while. So if we had an engineer, I think it takes you know, half the time. It would be 7, but I mean it doesn't hurt to get started, um, and then we'll, we'll get an engineer and, and hopefully some scientists early on as well to speed up uh, early game research. Um, and then yeah, we'll we'll be able to start uh, you know clearing out the debris and all that usual business. One thing that I think I I want to show with our soldiers here is let's look at mr ryan letourneau this magnificent specimen damn burgers, but if I find another stuffed under one of these command consoles there's central quiet quiet you I'm talking to my boy so soldier stats this is pretty neat um it uses the uh kind of the ap point system as well you can actually, um, if you're like really want to focus your soldier on, uh, you know, a certain skill set or something, maybe, all right, we want to increase his mobility or we want to up his dodge or, you know, and you can put as many, um, you know, AP points, uh, which the, the same ones that we use for the actual abilities as well, right? But, um, maybe you care less about some of those abilities and you just kind of want his raw stats up. You know, 
you can you can do it however you want uh, so you can come in here and you say oh we want his mobility up so boom I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some points. although I don't really have many points um, right now and some of these take different amounts of points but you know so we can get us dodge up or you know so it's kind of like a neat way of, of really customizing and tweaking and getting certain soldiers to be the way you want which is cool I like that um, so yeah I thought that was another neat aspect of the mod but soldier ability so we can come back here and, and, and unlock these whenever we want uh, and then you still have stuff like the soldier bonds and the loadouts I don't know if anything is really changed combat knife traditional sword yeah there's also some different uh weapons that have been added from some of the mods old world assault rifle scattered gun marksman rifle lmg yeah i think a lot of these are 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 mod related but that's kind of exciting i'm looking forward to trying some of those out um pistol what do we have here anything else new Arc thrower? What is that? Gauntlet? Excuse me? Hollow targeter? Empty? Interesting. And like I said, too, one of the mods allows you to, uh... Oh, and a claymore? Ooh, the... Cl I Excuse me? I like that. I like that. Um... Yeah, one of the mods allows you to do like your your secondary is a primary or even doing two uh, like dual wielding pistols or, or melee weapons and such. So uh, I I think this is gonna be a pretty fun playthrough personally. Uh, newer newer fresher kind of take on it for me. Um. So yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna we're, I think we're gonna wrap it up here and what we're gonna do is next episode we'll we'll have a little fun customizing one of our our soldiers to be one of the NLSS crew May, probably myself I'm gonna be a little selfish and make a Malfi gonna give him a toque um and get him uh get him up and running and then uh you know, we'll, we'll keep going and we'll make uh, do some more customization, and we're gonna do some more missions and stuff. I'm gonna try to keep the episodes not too long, but I do have a tendency to ramble for you know for those that remember the old days of the two to three hour long spelunky videos and stuff. Um, <laughs> I have a problem keeping YouTube videos short, but you know that's who I am. I can't change. I could try, but it's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> anyways, that said, uh, again, I, I hope uh, I hope this has kind of been sort of an enjoyable um, return uh, to you from me to YouTube. Does that wording work? Basically, I'm back. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, XCOM video every day. And then I'll slowly be working in some other stuff, playing some other games, doing some other non-gaming stuff. I believe I mentioned that earlier as well, but um, that'll take a little bit of time. And um, I... Um, yeah, I don't know. I've just been missing this, and it's it's nice to kind of kind of be back at it so again here we go i'm rambling i'm saying the same stuff over and over and over again uh so i'm gonna get my butt out of here but i, I appreciate you tuning in and uh you know all that old youtube uh if you like to give it a like kind of stuff if you're new around here you know i would appreciate uh you know the old sub and the hit the bell and all the that do hickey stuff uh, and if you want to catch me live streaming as well, I do stream over at twitch.tv slash Fox, and, uh, I have a Twitter, twitter.com slash Fox. All that stuff is in the description anyway, so you can, you can click it there. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for, for hanging. 
And I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.